Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm over 50 years old and I love makeup and skincare products. And today we're going to be doing an entire full face of drugstore makeup. I can't wait. I have a brand new concealer I've been dying to test out. And I also have products that have been sitting around that have been meaning to test out, but never got around to it. So I figured given the current situation, I would test them out for you. Everything from eyeshadow palettes to mascara to foundation, we're gonna do the whole kit and caboodle. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Oh, that's better, okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of my family. And don't forget to hit that little notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. Okay. Who all is going officially stir crazy? Me. When you get bored, you go through all your things and I started finding a lot of wonderful drugstore products that I haven't even tested out. So we are just gonna dive right in and see what kind of look we're gonna come up with. I do have a brand new concealer that I can't wait to test out for you. It is the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. But yes, some of these products are new, some of these products are old, some of these products I've totally forgotten about and I can't wait to revisit them. So, as you can see, I already have my eyebrows done. I didn't wanna bore you to death, but I just went in with LA Shady Girl Brow Pencil. This is the best brow pencil. Oh my gosh, I think it's like $4.99. It's one of my holy grails. So let's start out with primer. Now I'm gonna be starting out with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Who remembers this primer? It's supposed to be super dewy, super fresh, and with my mature skin, I thought it would be great to revisit this primer. But from what I remember, I really liked it. But as you can see, it comes in a plastic squeezy tube and a pump. It's been a hot minute since I've tried this product, but let's dive right in. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some out on my hand. And from what I remember, it's super sticky and it smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, OMG. Now, look how goopy that is. Yo, and I'm sticking that all over my face. But this is supposed to hydrate your skin and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap it on to, whoa, this is so sticky. Super gloppy, super sticky. What were you thinking, Catherine? But yeah, I, ooh, I'm just gonna put it on my forehead and through my most porous areas. And I do, if you just tap it in, super slimy, but man, it smells delicious. The Jelly Pop Primer is applied. Now, for foundation, you know I love the Ordinary skincare products. And did you know that they had foundation. I had no idea. I had ordered this from Beautylish months ago and I never got around to testing it. This is actually a matte finish and I'm in the shade 12N. I have never put this on so I can't wait to see how this works. But I'm going to shake it up. It comes in a plastic bottle and a pump top so I'm just going to go ahead and shake it up, put some on the back of my hand and Pray to God it matches my skin tone, but let's check out the consistency here. Now, you know I don't like matte finish, so <laughs> we'll see how this works. But the consistency is quite runny. Oh, heck yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab some on right through here with my sticky face. And okay. Now I'm gonna take my damp beauty sponge and tap it in. And this is supposed to be full coverage. And wow, it is definitely covering up my hyperpigmentation for sure. Why did I not try this before? You know, I love the Ordinary skincare products. In fact, I'm getting ready to film affordable anti-aging skincare products and I can't wait to share that with you. That will be coming up in my next video. So I hope you will stay tuned for that. But so far, this is not bad. The shade is not too bad either. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some on the other side of my face. Now, 
The consistency of the primer is no longer sticky, but it's really grabbing on to this foundation. It's beautiful. Okay, foundation is on. I got the brand new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer, and we are just gonna go right in. It seems super tiny. I don't even know, how much do you get in this? Like, for real, this seems super small. Okay, it is vegan, and you get seven milliliters, 0 0.23 fluid ounces. It seems awfully tiny compared to their typical concealers, but it's hydrating. So hopefully it'll plump up my under eye area and make them look very juicy and very young. But yes, let's check it out, the consistency. Oh my Lanta, look how tiny that doe foot is. Did I get any product? I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand and see what the consistency is like. Actually, it looks pretty good. So since this is such a full coverage foundation, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in my problem areas through here, my dark circles, and up through here just to brighten that area. Oh my God, this is so tiny. It seems like you have to put, get a lot. There's hardly, this is brand new. I don't know why there's not a whole lot coming out. There we go. And cover up my red spots there. Oh doesn't smell too good. It smells kind of, oh my God, it smells like, oh my, what is that smell? Like a honeydew melon, but an overly ripe honeydew melon? I don't know, what the heck? Anyway, let's go ahead and tap this in and see how it works with the foundation, but let's tap that in. Oh, 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 I don't know about this. Now I did a review on their Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation and I actually really liked it. So I hope this is just as good. Just blend that in, damp beauty sponge, and blend. Okay, concealer is on. Um. It's not very full coverage. I can still see some of my dark circles and it's kind of settling into my fine lines. No bueno, but that's okay. Moving right along. Let's add a little bit more color back into my face and I'm just gonna go in with Revolution Pro's Sculpt and Glow. This used to be my holy grail. In fact, I've hit pan on this contour, but I actually love this because it's so convenient. It has contour and highlighter, but let's just Tap some on. Ooh, I've forgotten how much I like this. Whoop. Contour is on. Now for blush, I'm just gonna go in with Believe Beauty's Born to Blush in High Tea. This is actually from Dollar General. Yes, this is actually a beautiful formula and the color is simply stunning. It's a beautiful coral color it's actually very creamy, but isn't that stunning? It just has a little bit of shine to it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this on my brush and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. But as you can see, it's just a beautiful, radiant, peachy, corally tone. Oh, this is pretty. Nice. Okay. <gasps> It has just a little bit of sparkle, but do you see how beautiful that shade is? Very nice, I like it. Okay, now for eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna go in with ELF's eyeshadow primer. And would you believe I got this for $2 at Walmart? Um, yes, please. It just comes out with a little doe foot, and I'm just gonna tap some on my eyes, and dab like so. Now, this doesn't have the same type of coverage that my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre offers, but for $2, it's actually pretty decent. And I actually kind of like the consistency because it's not as grippy. Grippy? But this is not bad. I mean, it's $2. Elf, not bad. Now for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with the Believe Beauty eyeshadow palette, again from Dollar General. I think I picked this up for like 
but as you can see, you get six pans of eyeshadow. I've been really getting into mini quads recently as opposed to huge eyeshadow palettes because I feel like A, it's a lot of eyeshadow. B, I'm never gonna get through all those colors or hit pan. But I find that these little tiny mini quads are so much more, I find that they're more user friendly because you don't have to think too hard on which eyeshadow color you're going to use. But I'm gonna go in with this top color right here and I'm just gonna sweep it all over the lid on my Real Techniques brush and just sweep it. And you know what? The quality is not that bad. Just for a all over wash of color. Now there is a little bit of kickback, but I'm not mad at it. Next, I think I'm gonna go in with this. It looks almost like a bronzy color. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit on my Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna take it up in my transitional area, right through here. Try to add some depth to my eye. Wow, this isn't bad. Right through here. That's pretty. Clean fluffy brush and blend. I really am intrigued by this color right here. It looks like almost like clay color and I'm gonna take it on this brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and go on the out, outer edges of my eye and sweep it out. Take a smaller brush and blend. And now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and take this color up through here and line my lower lash line. And poke your eye out. <laughs> and go ahead and connect it. Now I think I'll go in with this beautiful shade right here. Oh my gosh, look at the pigment on that. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm just gonna tap it on my eyelid. Now on a smaller Ulta brush, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this champagne color right through here. Highlight my inner corner. Whatever's left on the brush and hit my eyebrow to highlight. And I like to take what's in my inner corner and just bring it slightly up to brighten that inner area, that inner eye. Now, for eyeliner, I'm going to be using Revolution Flick Liquid Liner. It's been a minute since I've used this. I can't remember if I liked it or not, but we are gonna find out. Ooh, here we go. It's a felt tip pen, so if you see, that's how it draws on. Ooh, let's test it out. Okay, eyeliner is on. Now to curl my eyelashes. And now to go in with L'Oreal's Bambi Eye Mascara. This is such a beautiful formula. I've been really enjoying it and I love the applicator, but I find it goes on super smooth and no clumps and it really does lengthen your eyelashes. on. 
Now for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild's Hello Halo. I'm just gonna use this lighter shade here and just sweep it here. Now I'm just gonna finish my under eye area with the RCMA colorless powder. This is super awkward, but it's such a great finishing powder. It looks just like this. It looks like talc and powder, honest to God. And I'm gonna take it on my Sigma brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush and sweep it under my eyes. And this sets my makeup so beautifully. What I'm gonna do, I don't think my eye look is complete. I think I need to, I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and just take this on my small Morphe brush, that little rust color, and line my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit more. Ooh, that's much better. And for lips, I'm just gonna go in with Revolution's Pout Bomb in Peachy. I love this lip gloss. It is such a beautiful consistency. It's not too gloppy and it does plump my lips. So let's just go right in. And now to finish off the look, I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with Milani's Make It Dewy Setting Spray. Since the foundation is matte, I wanna give my skin an extra little bit of glow. So I'm just gonna go in with the setting spray. This actually smells so good, and I very rarely use setting spray, but look at the sheen that I'm getting. Look at that glow. It is beautiful. Final look everyone. Now, let me give you my final thoughts. I can't believe how good the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dewy Primer is. I've forgotten how dewy and luminous it makes my skin look. And when you pair it with a foundation like The Ordinary, a matte foundation at that, it definitely makes my skin look super glowy. Now, as far as my final thoughts on the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer, not impressed with it. Yes, it's hydrating, yes, it's vegan, but it's such a tiny doe foot. I mean, you really have to work it to get in there. And I didn't feel like it covered up my dark circles. It's definitely medium coverage, but if you do like medium coverage, this, you will love it. The eyeshadow palettes were from Dollar General as well as the blush. And I had forgotten how good this eyeliner pen is from Revolution super affordable and I think every single item that I featured is under $10. Now the mascara from L'Oreal, the Bambi Eye, I believe that runs about $10.99, $10, I'm not sure, but super affordable, super accessible. So leave a comment down below if you like any of these drugstore products. What's your favorite go-to drugstore product? My new favorite foundation is probably this with the combination of that. I can't believe how luminous my skin is. So I hope you enjoyed my full face of drugstore makeup 2020 while in quarantine. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And for more reviews on makeup and skincare, check out these videos up here. But for now, mwah, mahalkita. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.